In this set of videos, we're going to start talking about how to bring files from outside OpenVSP into your model. Now, this could be just bringing in another OpenVSP3 file into the session that you're working in because you want to, say, combine a library of components or, or insert something into another model. That's fine. Um, but you can also use the import function, which allows you to bring in things like tries and STLs for triangulated meshes. It'll let you bring in NASCAR DAT files. It'll let you bring in Hermate or uh, Plot3D formats as a wireframe or a mesh. Uh, bring in point clouds if you just want to have a cloud of points that you're trying to say fit to or use as references. You can bring in blade element models from a rotor analysis code if you want to. And you can even bring in old OpenVSP2 files, say from the hangar, where um, they're not necessarily ready to open in OpenVSP3, but it will import those. And so you can generally just convert those one to one from the old VSP2 files with some exceptions. But to show you a bit of how this functions, the import essentially thinks that wherever you are in your model tree here is where you want to place the component. So if we were at the top level here at vehicle and decided that we wanted to place something as a child of a wing, we have the wing selected. Let's come over here and say bring in a blade element model where we have this test prop component. And it'll take just a moment to build it up from the BEM because of all the radial stations, but it doesn't take long. And you can see we've got a new prop geom component based on that BEM format. Now it did place it as a child, but it does not do any of the attachment and stuff like that for you. That's up to you. So we place component, we've got that set there, etc. So all of that stuff is pretty common to anyone that's watched the fundamental videos at this point. So that's a brief introduction to importing files into OpenVSP. We're going to talk about a few of these formats and some of the characters of either the mesh or the wireframe, the point cloud, etc. as you bring these things in in other videos, but hopefully that gets you started.